Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually gonna be walking you guys through how I value brand new phones. I get a lot of questions regarding this, especially with the new iPhones like the iPhone XS Max, XS and the XR coming out these past couple months. How do I value them? So I'm gonna be walking you guys through um, kind of the different variables that kind of affect the prices. So with that said, uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subbed to the channel yet, hit that subscription button down below. I'd really appreciate the support guys. Uh, but with that said, let's get right into the video. So as you guys can tell, I am in my computer now and I do have a couple points I'm gonna be walking through um, because there is a couple different factors that'll affect the prices that you'll buy and sell these brand new phones at. Um, this is more specifically talking about more of the newer phones like iPhone X and newer. Um, so uh, one thing I want to mention is if you stick around to the end of the video, there is a bonus tip. So definitely stick around for that. Um, and I'll be talking about that pretty much just after I talk about a couple of these points. But getting right into it, um, the first thing point I want to mention is you need to evaluate where you want to sell your phone because that will affect the price um, that you will be able to sell the phone. And obviously we're learning here how to value these brand new phones. So if you guys don't know how I kind of value my phones as I work backwards is I so I will, I will kind of see what that phone sells for on average based on the platform and then also subtract any fees that platform has and any other things like shipping if that is something that is um, going to entail with that phone or anything else that could um, affect my profits. That's how I base my phone off of. So if I'm selling on eBay, I'll see what they're selling for. I'll subtract the 10% eBay fee. I'll subtract PayPal fee and I'll subtract the shipping fee. And then I'll subtract my profits. So let's say I want to make a hundred dollar profit. So all those fees plus a hundred dollars I subtract from that selling price. And that is where I get the price of my phone. So again, it really just depends on where you want to sell your phone. So you, if you're selling it locally, you need to evaluate locally where that um, kind of what those phones are selling for locally. eBay, Mercari, private buyer, these are all things I'm gonna go into. So the first one um, is uh, talking again about how you, you need to appraise based on the current platform that you, you're looking to sell that phone on. So if I'm looking to sell that phone um, locally, I'm gonna look at the prices on OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, and Gazelle. My best preference would be OfferUp just because that is the most traction in my town so I can see the most listings that I could sell uh, that have, I can literally, uh, filter by sold listings. I'll see what these iPhone XS Max is for, whatever phone I'm selling that are, is on the newer side sealed. I'll pretty much get the exact phone that I have in my hand or looking to bid on. I'll see what it is on there and obviously there's no fees with it so I'll pretty much just subtract my profit from that. Same with Facebook Marketplace because that it, that is a little bit of the higher end of the prices compared to OfferUp. And then another great platform, I know a lot of people use this and I do use this especially when selling locally. These are pretty accurate prices that I do follow. It's just using the website called Gazelle. If you guys don't know it, it's just called gazelle.com. Pretty much the biggest buyback website out there. Uh, basically how I do it um, or how I'd appraise the phone is I click here, sell smartphone. Um, so I'm just gonna be going through the process, but I'm not actually, I don't really have a phone to sell. Down here, I have an iPhone. So I'm gonna do like an iPhone XS Max unlocked. So let's click iPhone XS Max. You can choose based on the carrier that the person is coming to you that phone with or the one you're looking to bid on. And then I can choose the gigabyte. Let's just go 256. Um, it'll ask you these couple questions. Usually they're all no, unless there's a couple scratches on it, but if they're brand new, um, which is more about this video, there's not gonna be anything with these. Um, no, hold on, sorry. I, I don't know why I clicked those. So um, I would pretty much, if I wanted to buy this locally, I can make a decent amount of profit if I bought it for 580. In my opinion, this is a little bit low, so, but if you're able to get it for this price, you're gonna make a ton of profit on this phone because you could probably sell this for $1,000. So these are on the little bit lower side just because they're a buyback website, they have a reputation. So they're able to get those lower prices and obviously they have reviews and everything like that. So they have that credibility. Um, so 580 is pretty low in my opinion, but um, like I know people that'll buy it for eight, 900. So if you can get it for that, it might be within a couple dollars here and there. I'd say you can go up from there, but that is a pretty accurate price. Um, secondly, if you wanted to sell on eBay, you just look at eBay sold listings. This is something I've done since day one. So um, just going to eBay, clicking, like pretty much typing the exact phone you have in the keyword search bar, going down the left side, click sold listings, and kind of seeing 
based on the advertisement, I usually take about five to 10 of them. Average the price out. They literally have to be the exact phone that I have. There's enough on there that you'll be able to find them. And then I'll just average those out and that's pretty much what I can sell it for. And then um, I'll just subtract the profit and fees from there. So looking at Mercari, pretty much the same thing. They do go for a little bit less than eBay. But in my opinion, I don't use eBay at all. I use Mercari, so that's just something um, I've had to deal with and it's totally fine that just means I have to take that into consideration when I'm trying to buy my phone and looking at the profit margin and the fourth and final platform is your private buyers there's obviously some other platforms like swap out there but those are pretty much similar to eBay and Mercari but private buyers is probably the easiest because, because all you really have to do is look at their price sheet again if you guys are trying to find a private buyer make sure they have a legitimate price sheet if they have the website that's probably the best thing you can probably find uh, but they don't really budge on any of their prices. I've seen maybe five, ten dollars here and there. Uh, but it's really not worth it. You want to have a long-term relationship with these guys. So look at the price sheet, and then you just pretty much have to subtract any PayPal fees if they do that, or um, also the the shipping fee, which is like three bucks if you ship ship through like a bubble mailer. So uh, if you guys made it to this far in the video, I appreciate you. But I do have a bonus tip. I told you guys I would. So this bonus tip is in regards to selling. So um, the tip that I have is price based on reputation on the platform and willingness to hold inventory. So this is in regards to, let's say you've already bought the phone and this is a bonus tip regards to like actually selling that phone after you have that phone in your hand. So for me, I like to price a based on these two factors. So I price based on one, the reputation on the platform. So if I'm on eBay and I have 500 reviews, I'm gonna be able to get that phone, sell that phone for a little bit higher because you've built that reputation. There should be some sort of advantage to having those kind of reputations on these platforms. So that does, and, and it does, like actually, it does implement that. It's, I'm not saying that because it's not true. It does. So like on Mercari, now I'm getting to the point where I have a ton of five, I have all five star reviews. So if I get a ton of those five star reviews and you guys do the same thing, you'll be able to gain that credibility one and two, be able to price that a little bit higher. But let's say you don't have that, that reputation. The second point I have is your willingness to hold that inventory. So if you have that phone on you and you wanna price a little bit aggressively on eBay, you're probably gonna to have to hold on to that phone a little bit longer. It's probably gonna take a little bit harder or uh, longer to be able to find that buyer that's willing to pay that higher price. And sometimes it won't even sell at that price. So you just have to wait, hold on to the inventory and then just re reduce it or you could have just done that in the beginning at that original reduced price and sold it within a day or two. So it really depends on your willingness to hold inventory. For most of you, you're in the beginner stages of foam flipping and that's totally fine. You just have to, to kind of recognize that you these online platforms will um, have you have to hold your money, especially with PayPal and eBay. Um, Ricari's not so bad and if you have a private buyer, it goes instantly, but these online platforms are going to hold your money so you have to see what kind of money you're able to let them hold and still make money phone flipping because if you sell an iPhone X for eight hundred dollars it's going to be held on that platform for maybe up to one to three weeks and then you don't have eight hundred dollars to go buy some phones so if you're trying to get that inventory moving which is my recommendation pretty much for anybody that does phone flipping keep that inventory moving I like to price a little bit below market value just so I I, I sell them a lot quicker. Yeah, I'm taking a little bit of profit hit, but the time that I'm using to go and buy another phone with that money that I made on that other phone, I'm making way more money that way other than just having that money sit there and not make any money. So um, I hope you guys found value in that. I mean, that bonus tip is super good, especially if you guys are having trouble selling your phones. It's probably because you're selling them too high. Uh, and that's, this tip does apply very um, congruently with locally because I've seen if you price a little bit under market value that phone will sell like hotcakes but if you do just a little bit higher it pretty much won't sell because people on these online on these locally uh, on these local platforms are looking to get bargains otherwise they just buy them from I from Apple themselves so I hope you guys found value in the video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up if you aren't subbed to the channel yet hit that subscription button down below I'd really appreciate the support and if you made it this far in the video I know you found some value especially with that bonus tip so give the video a thumbs up again leave a comment down below what you got what you guys thought about the video and with that said I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next one